everyone um, I just completed the license plates I had such a great time making them um, each of them had given me a couple of colors and a couple of themes to work with so I incorporated um, one of them onto the license plate um, I used a lot of distressing inks and a ton of glimmer mist and some distressing powder um, and the, the paint dauber and the technique that I used on a few of them is that um, emboss and ink resist technique um, which I really liked and so I adhered all the license plate to some medium weight um, chipboard um, just for um, extra um, reinforcement so let me quickly show you I'm just going to show it to you one at a time I'm not going to get into too much detail only because you know I only just have the 10 minutes um, but if you have a certain question on one of them, just leave a comment or send me a message and I'd be more than happy to answer your question. So this is in no particular order. Um, let me just quickly show you. Again, I had such an awesome time making these. Um, this is Carol Ann. She's from Logan's Crafty Mama. She wanted, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting sick so I'm kind of losing my voice here. She wanted pink with um, polka dots and so I use the cut and paste King Company paper collection and I glimmer mist over it with the pearl and then I etched it with the black pitch uh, paint dauber and all of these um, I top coat it with either the um, pearl iridescent gold or the marshmallow color so I hope you girls like it because I had such an awesome time uh, making these um, this one is for Joy She's craft stash, and she wanted to have a blue uh, with a very vintage rustic look to it, and her theme was royalty. So I used the Tim Holtz lion stamp and then the Tim Holtz crown, and she wanted her words to be embossed. So I used the distress embossing powder, and these um, on these two I also used the vintage photo distressing powder, and I heat set it in certain areas as you can see here. Uh, a little bit longer to get that kind of rustic burnt I guess kind of look to it and so I hope you like it Joy and I like again um, I had a, such a fun time with these um, this is Asa I hope I'm pronouncing her name right Asa 19 she wanted butterfly in purple and I added she also wanted green so I used the um, glimmer mist lime I think it's a lime twist color Oh no, it's the um, lime zest color, I think. I'm not sure if I'm getting that. Hold on, let me check. I think it's the lime. Is it? Oh, it's lime twist. Okay. And then I did that embossed ink resist technique on hers. And then I just add a flourish right here. And then um, this one is uh, Scraps of Mine. Um, which is Leslie. She wanted her YouTube name on here. And this is where I used the uh, Scrappy Cat um, stamp set uh, to put the of because I couldn't fit the whole name on here. So I just kind of mixed them up. And then I did the, um, again, the um, embossed resist technique. And she wanted pink and light blue. And I used it, um, put a chandelier in the center. So that one's for Leslie. And then this one's for Hunter. She's scrapping with Hunter. She wanted purple and some butterflies. So I used the Mariposa butterflies that I could cut out. And the purple that I use is the Dusty Concord uh, Distress Ink. And in the center where their name is, I glimmer mist um, their name. I mean, around their whole name. So that's for Hunter. Um, this is Sarah. Sarah wanted a vintage. She won, um, she's the Sweet Pea Scrapbooking. So um, this is a vintage girl stamp I had. And this is a black soot um, distress powder. And when I think of vintage, I think of Paris. So I stamped this Tim Holtz Paris stamp. And this is the vintage photo. So that's for Sarah. Um, this one's for Laura. Laura wanted dragonflies in purple. So the dragonflies with the milled lavender distress um, powder. And then this is the Tim Holtz stamp. And then again, I love that um, embossed ink resist technique. So I did that with hers. And this one's Anna. Anna said anything, so 
Um, Anna loves my mind's eye, and when I think of my mind's eye, for some reason I think of brown and pink. So I incorporated those two colors, and then I put this um, dress in the center, and then I add some bling. Um, this one is for Naznin, and she's um, Artie Farty, 99, and she wanted pink in any theme, so I did a Hawaiian theme. And these stamps are from Hawaii. Uh, my cousin had given it to me, and um, I really liked them. This is the first time I actually got to use them. And this is a vintage photo um, distress powder, and also here. And then this is peeled paint distress powder. And I added some of the vintage photo distress powder on the bottom to kind of make it look like it's sand. And so I just first marked it, and then I poured um, the distress powder, and then I got a paintbrush and just brush some out. So that's hers. I hope she likes it. Um, this is Jackie. Um, Jackie is San Joaquin. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, um, Anna is Kissing the Wind. Sorry. I'll put all their names on the screen. And then Jackie, she's um, San Joaquin, and she wanted a... I incorporated actually all three of the colors she wanted, red, orange, and brown, and she wanted to flourish. So the center is Dreamsicle Glimmer Mist. Then I got the red fire brick distress ink and then the, the vintage photo distress ink. And then I heat set the with clear embossing powder the flourishes. That's for Jackie. This one's Christy. Christy is um Winpoo 444. She wanted butterflies in purple. And again, the um the emboss res ink resist technique. Um, this is um, Sushi. She's Silly Shy Sushi. And she wanted blue, browns, and pink. So I made her, and her theme was Owl, one of them. So I made the Owl pink with the Tattered Rose Distress Powder. You can see all that glimmer mist on there. It's really neat. And this is um, Dara. She's the Makeup Girl 23. She wanted that um, chandelier that I had um, put on Alyssa's license plate and her colors were purple. Look at all that glimmer mist. Really neat. And then sh I added a flourish right here. And this one I love. This one's Lily. Um, she is 10 Angel Kisses. She wanted Paris and she wanted the brown and black tan um, colors. So what I did was I had an Eiffel Tower stamp, but it was just too tall um, for the license plate. So I took some Paris um, design paper that I had, and I stamped it to where this part right here was going to be the center because I wanted the letter I to be right in here on the Eiffel Tower. And then I placed the rest of her name around it, and then I heat set the Tim Holtz stamps that had the words Paris on it. So if you could see that right here. And then also right here, too. So that's for Lily. And then this one's Lydia. Lydia wanted an Asian. Um, she's Little Lids 1. She wanted Asian theme. And I picked the... She gave me a couple colors, but I picked red and black because in the Asian culture, red is good luck. So I used the red and black. And then this is um, a bamboo that I used the peeled paint distress powder. And this is just a Japanese tower using the black soot distress powder. And then last one, this is um, for um, Cheyenne. And it was cute because um, she gave me a couple of themes and in the parentheses she wanted a zebra, but she wasn't sure if I was going to have it. But I did have one, so I love the way it came out. So I did the same, the um, emboss, um, ink um, resist technique. And I, I really like the way it came out. And then I add some bling. So um, these are your um, license plate ladies. I hope you guys all like it. I had Again, I had such a great time. I'm going to mail these out to you. I just wanted to quickly share with everyone um, the license plates I made for you. So thanks everyone for watching. Bye.